Okay, so you know one of the so <laughs> the, the the name of this YouTube video is Overwatch is school and is Overwatch like school? And you guys are like, no, Overwatch can't be school, right? Because you know school is boring and school is mundane and school is full of boring professors and pro Overwatch is a hobby, it's a game, it's so freaking fun. I'm I'm addicted to it. I'm playing I four hours a day. You know one is entertainment and the other is boring. Uh, it's a chore. I have to. I, I have to go to school. I have to go to college because I, I need to get an education. I need to get a job. But you know, there's no similarity. There is, however, one similarity in that you can, if you want to learn better, you want to improve faster as a player, or you, and especially as a coach, you want to improve uh, faster as a coach. Then you need to have a way to compile notes and information. Right? There's no way. Uh, you can commit things to long-term memory. There's no way for you to apply concepts uh, if you are just spending pure time. Or maybe you can, but you'll be inefficient because you're using purely your memory to do it. So let's talk about being a player first, right? If you're a player and then you're playing uh, Overwatch and you want to improve as quickly as possible, are you just going to grind out the game? Can you improve just by playing the game a huge amount? The answer is yes, right? But it's it might not be efficient because uh, you're going to autopilot a lot. It's, it's just natural to autopilot when you play like a huge amount of time. So a good way to improve, for instance, what I used to tell my old contenders team is to get post-it. And I have like loads of post-it. I have literally like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times 4. I have 24 of this. Right? 24 of this, 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 this things. So get post-it. Uh, write down maybe two or three of your biggest recurring mistakes. Get your vault reviewed. Review your own vault. You know you have two or three bad habits. You don't like to peel for your zen, or you're not good at peeling for your zen. Your 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 bubbles as a Winston is is too aggressive. You're not using it properly enough. As a Zai, your positioning is bad. Whatever you know. Write your recurring mistakes, the things that occur the most in a map or in like multiple matches that ha happens again and again. Write down on a, a post it. What's stopping you from? Uh, from a as a gold player from getting into plat, what's stopping you as a plat player from getting to diamond? What's the difference? What's a, if you think diamond and plat has no difference, you're wrong, right? You're wrong. There's a difference, and you think the difference is slight because say you're two thousand nine hundred, and then the diamond's like it's a couple, like only two hundred, three hundred SR above you, right? What you can do is you can check out a master player, right? Check out someone two tiers above you, where he's not so much better that you can't see the difference, right? So if you are a goal, you can check out a diamond player. If you are a diamond, you can check out a grandmaster player. If you are a grandmaster, you can check out like high top 500 players, etc, etc. And then you write down your recurring mistake, the things that you you are doing wrong or the things that you want to focus on and then you stick them on, on like like close. You can stick them on your mouse pad, maybe not your mouse pad, but right next to your computer, something that you can see the moment you just incline your eyes, maybe like 20 degrees, that sort of stuff. So as a player, post it is a good is a good form. Uh, regular vault review is a good form. If you play twenty hours a day, I would strongly suggest getting maybe uh, one vault review a week. So send in a vault to Overwatch University or send in a vault to Jane's Discord, uh, Jane Discord, and then get it reviewed and from a week to week basis basis see whether you improve. Right. So. Maybe you spend 20 hours uh, a week playing, you can spend 10-20% of the time looking at gameplay. Whether it's your own gameplay or someone else's gameplay, I guarantee you, you're going to improve way faster. I'm not talking about you're going to improve 10% faster. I'm talking about like huge rate of improvement. You're going to improve like way faster, like two times the speed, three times the speed. Instead of climbing to Grandmasters in uh, in, in one year, you're going to climb it to, to it in two to three months, right? De like you, you need to have a conscious effort and a direction in improvement. And then you climb. Post it, vote reviews, whatever. As a, as a player, uh, it's one of the reason why people uh, coaches works. You know, like as in why, if you get a coach as a t a teacher or a mentor, it tend to be a little bit better because the the coach, the mentor, the teacher will have will be able to direct you towards improving right maybe you can spot the same amount of mistakes because you are good at vault reviewing but a coach would be able to uh look at it from a different perspective and give you a direction to go and you just improve faster okay as a coach right as a coach similarly when i oh and before i continue as a coach uh you, you need you guys need to also remember that 
different people have different ways of learning, right? Maybe post-it don't work for you. Maybe vault review is what works for you. You don't need to go for a post-it idea. You can just do vault reviews. Or maybe vault review you think is useless because you can you improve faster just by playing a lot and having like and reminding yourself on the mistakes that then you just use the post-it method. Or you think you improve a lot if you play less and you or you play uh, only three times a week and you play four hours or whatever you know like experiment. Part of learning quickly is also experimenting to find uh, to find out what kind of learner you are because everyone learns at a different rate. Everyone learns differently. We come from different culture. We come from different schools. We have different upbringing. We have different education. Everyone learns at a different rate. So learn what works for you. Experiment for the next two, three weeks. Experiment for a month. Find out the best way you can improve, the most comfortable way you can improve long term, where you can also have fun at the same time, then apply it for the next one year or however you want to improve it. Okay, about coaching, right? Uh, as a coach, I, I, I experimented with many, many different forms. How do I improve as a coach, right? I think I, I mentioned it before. But how do I even uh, take notes? Do I take notes as a coach? Do coaches generally take notes? If coaches don't take notes, is that does that mean he's a bad coach, etc., right? And uh, once again, I, I had experimental phrases. For example, like, even now I'm still experimenting. So you see, uh, LA, Glads, Scream Notes. And then uh, you can see 24th, 25th, 28th, 29th, 31st. And why isn't there any other dates, right? Because this was one of my experiments. Well, I was trying to take notes online and see how it works, right? And I take different kind of notes as well. In in the past, I'll show you guys some of my past contenders notes. Uh, let's see Dark Side, right? So these, like, close eight months, close to a year ago, this was how I took notes, right? These are how I took notes. So Mooney is our Winston player. Who is our Winston player? And then um, what I'll do is I'll watch the vaults, I'll watch the screams, right? I'll watch the screams and then I'll tell them what I see. So I'll be watching, watching, watching. Uh, Winston, Winston, you're dying way too much. Play more passively. So it tends to be more like notes that it tends to be things that are more vague, right? That's because it's hard to correct someone life like it's hard to spot a mystic life or it's harder to spot a mystic life and you can't really go in that because you can't i can't pause and play right so i'll record the entire match and at the end of the screen i'll rewatch it again and i'll take notes like this right i'll, I'll rewatch it rewatch it and i'll take notes like this so winston you need to have improve awareness make sure you look around you know even doing a fight you might do one second blah, blah, blah. so you see it's really really detailed right so what happened is i'll watch four hours of screams right four hours worth of screams we just use my epic pen Epic. So I would I would watch say hmm, there we go. Okay, I'll watch like say four hours worth of screams, right? Four hours. And then I'll watch I'll spend another four hours analyzing the vaults. Maybe I'll go through two or two three maps and then I'll cover those maps. So at the end I was spending a lot of time, but I don't feel I was really efficient. Right, I mean, I, I covered a lot of people, but you can see I have less things for Punk, I have more things for Muni, I have more things for Yuki, I, I have these, a lot of for Thermo, Cantus, not much for... There's one more player, Bolotov, and I don't have much for, for him. So, you just have a lot less time, and you can't prioritize as much. You just have to sp you spend like 8 hours, and then you can only... Some players come to mind because in those maps the players were performing worse, and in other maps the players were performing better. And it was really really hard to do this efficiently. So I want to find a way where, uh, and, and what I found worked was this kind of stuff was good. So I, I want to tell Muni this kind of stuff like make sure you look around even during a fight to make sure you don't tunnel stuff like that. So right, so something better, something that I could have did more efficiently. I could have wrote this down. I could have written this down, and I don't I don't write this down. Because at, at the end of the day, uh, depending on how efficient you want to be to a player, a player understands the rough G's, the rough G's of G's of a concept, right? So if you tell, like, a Winston, you need to do this, this, this. Immediately, if they are, like, a top 500 Winston, they are a GM Winston, they know why you are telling them that. You don't need to go, you don't need to tell them, hey, look, do this, and then you give him, like, a composition, or you give him a story about exactly why he needed to do that. You give him a thesis, you don't need to do that. Just tell him, all right, look, we need you to be a bit more passive because you're taking way too much damage. And that's, that's enough. How do you be passive? I want you to look around more. I want you to jump a little bit less. Only jump when you know the, 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 the diva has no micro missile, for example. You let him, you let him uh, apply it straight away. So something actionable. So this is really, really important. Uh, actionable as, as a coach, right? So, you know, as, as a previous contenders coach, most of my notes were really, really condensed. was really, really comprehensive, but it wasn't the most efficient way to do things. So... I move on, right? I move on, and, and, and currently I can tell you guys what's my note-taking structure. Uh, currently, my note-taking structure is like way shorter. I just write like... Uh, so, for example, let's say we are screaming in uh, um, Busan. Let's say we are screaming in Busan, right? I'll just write a note, like Busan Century, and then I'll write 
this person, uh, I'll just write things to take out, look out, for, to to keep an eye out for. So I'll write something like Winston jumps, uh, first fight, scenario, uh, out charge, voice calm for a second fight. That's all stuff, and I don't write anything about it because in the in the past or in quite recently, like maybe four or five months ago, I would write first fight and I write first fight wasn't good because this is, this is maybe I want to take a look and all this is useless I, I was not concentrating on the screams I was not thinking I was not looking at the screen properly I was wasting a lot of time writing like too much notes so in, 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 in right now I'm just looking at the screen looking for uh, recurring mistakes and then I just write one line first fight and what I do is later on when I'm looking back on the map straight away I can just go straight to the first fight because I know that's something that stuck out to me when I was watching it live Right. Maybe I wasn't sure. When I was watching it live, maybe I wasn't sure what's going on. I write first fight, I can take a look at that. And the best thing about this is I don't need to go through the entire fort. Right. If I have like if we went through ten maps, that took me say that, that took us like uh or we went through twelve maps and that took us four hours. It takes me another four hours to go through everything. And and that's that's not even analyzing, right? So it takes a long time. But if I write three, four lines that are pertinent issues in a map, I can straight away go straight to these scenarios and moments during uh when i'm taking a look at the recordings right i don't need to look through the entire vault and it becomes way more efficient and and and, and the best of all I, I i have new systems as well where this week i could focus on the zaya player the next week i could focus on the winston player and i'll prioritize right so i have also a priority tree in my head i want to focus on voice comps i want to make my uh, my, 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 my two support play better together. I want to make sure that we are protecting our support line. I want to make sure our Ryan is getting more resources, etc. Whatever, you know. I have a concept in my head that I want to aim for the week. I want to aim to do for the week. And then my coaching, my direction goes towards that direction. Rather than in the past where I'll just take notes, right? It doesn't matter. I just take notes. And then there was no direction in how I coach. So direction is really really important important for a coach and direction similarly like i talk about posting and everything is similarly important for a player so you need to have a direction you need to have sort of like a weekly team right this week i'm going to do this this week i'm going to have a certain habits that i'm going to follow so yeah even as a coach right you don't need to follow the way i i coach you don't need to follow the way i take notes uh but yeah uh find your own way to do it uh and it's really important you 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 experiment. Don't just fix it on a style, right? You start coaching, you have a style of taking notes, you have a style of applying these to practice, and straight away you don't do any other styles but this. That that is not good. That is not good because uh you will it's never that's not good because you maybe there's a ten, a, a method that's ten times more efficient and you'll never be able to find it. So experiment a little bit, it's always improve, not just uh the, the 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 your your the knowledge your knowledge on Overwatch but also your methodology as a coach and as a player in terms of improvement improvement yeah so I hope this helps and yeah I'll see you guys around.